Hello friends, in this lecture, I would like to explain another topic that is gantry girder. First, I will show you the images of the gantry girder. See here, this is the elevation of the gantry girder. If you observe clearly, this is the beam column and this is the crane girder, which is crane bridge. So, and these two are the, so in the elevation, it is very clearly observing these two are the gantry girders. So, if you see the top view, which is in the plan, so this is the gantry girder and this is the crane girder which rests on the gantry girder. Generally, the crane girder rests on the gantry girder. So, what is the purpose of this gantry girder? So, these are commonly used in factories and workshops to lift and move heavy materials and assembled parts from one point to the another. So, if you see the 3D image like this, how it will be? See here, what is the image showing here? The same image it will be. So, this is the crane girder. So, which rests on the gantry girder. So, if you observe this one in the cement color which is of I section, this is the gantry girder which is used to lift the heavy vehicles in the workshops and industries. So, we have to design this gantry girder. Okay. So, here if you observe clearly, so there will be two wheels in the crane girder which rests on the gantry girder. So, if you given two point loads based on the analysis, then it will work, works out in the form of gantry girder. So, I will show you how it will be. Just uh, give the file name gantry girder, choose your default location wherever you want to store the file, type will be analytical, units will be metric and then click create a new model. See here in the length wise. So, in the length, this is the gantry girder what I shown here. So, in the length wise, I will assume some 10 meters or 8 meters, whatever it may be. For that, in the geometry, choose your beam grid option. So, you will get the beam grid like this. So, here I will give certain 10 meters span like this. Okay, this is the length of the gantry girder. And again, to come out of this command, please click escape and ever and next close this grid. So, then you will keep this one in 2D view, view, 2D view and again first give the supports. So, I will go with uh, hinged supports. Okay. So, supports create, you can go anywhere fix or hinged supports. I will go with hinged supports, click add, assign to view. So, your supports will be assigned to that uh, nodes. Then next step is properties. So, here just I gave the length of the property. So, in the section database, what you have to choose means, so go to section database, so see here this is the American one, if you go to Indian, so there will be so many types of beams and columns and channels will be there. So here in the S shape, if you observe, you heard the name ISMB, ISLB, ISWB. So, light beam, ISMB means medium beam, 150 in the tens, which is of depth of that particular beam. So, for example, if you view the table here very clearly, which each and everything you will get in the steel tables. Okay. So, here you can choose any one of the property. So, I will go with some ISMB 400, which is of medium beam. So, each and everything will be there. So, the area of that ISMB 400 will be 78.50 depth will be d400 okay breadth of the flange will be around 165 thickness of the flange will be 16 each and everything so if you go to go and check in the steel tables the same will be there here also so whatever the property based on the loading conditions of the grain girder and the type of the workshop which the heavy materials lift you can go with that properties only but here i will show you the trial and error purpose just i will take ismb 400 okay if you want, you can take 200 LB, MB, whichever you want. Okay. Just for showing purpose only, I am taking this much trial. Okay. Click add, close and then assign this property to the beam. Click assign. Yes. So, see here in the length wise, in the utilities, you can check in the length wise, how much it will be. No to no distance will be some 10 meters. Again, I am removing this no to no distance and then check in the 3D view see what it will be. So, in the length wise, so this is the, so if you see here, in the length wise it will be 10 meters. 
so depth of the flange will be 400 mm and the thickness of the flange so this is of i section what we are seeing same like in the so this is the i section what we are preferring in the length wise it will be 10 meters so i section so flanges will be taken as it is in the proper in the same image i section length wise will be 10 meters the thickness and height of the flange will be taken by the property itself that's why i am giving this property which is of ismb 400 okay then our next step is you can go to the loading conditions so for that first always give the load case details click add again give the dead load as self weight load case details dead load 1 and again load case details add live load will be taken as two point loads for that what we have to do load case 2 only click add and again in the load case 1 what we have to do we have to add the self weight of the structure so for that what you have to take self weight of the structure click add this is by default you people know why because we solve so many uh, problems in this stat okay again load case details click add to here you can go with the nodal load or member load concentrated force so in the 10 meter span what i will take means first load i will take so the wheel base of this gantry girder what i am telling means the distance of this wheel to this wheel maybe i will take some 3 meter span so first in the total 10 meters width i will take some 3 meters again 3 meters like that it will set okay so first distance will be 3 meters so the load will be in terms of kilonewton maybe i will take some 20 kilonewton click add close and again i will take another load click add so it is at a distance of member load again it is at a distance of concentrated force again minus 20 kilonewton at a distance of 6 meters so based on these calculations what you will get means so i will show here self weight of the structure assigned to view okay and again concentrated force assigned to view and again concentrated force assigned to view so in the total sorry concentrated force assigned to view so in the total 10 meter span so the crane wheel is at a distance of 3 meters so it starts 3 meters this will be 3 meters apart and again the rest will be some 7 meters like that so like this totally the distance it will be in the distance of 10 meters so if you clearly seen here this is of total 10 meters the two wheel distance lies between 3 meters if you want to take heavier means you can take heavier also so it is it depends upon the conditions okay so you check so next is design so go to design again go to steel so go to is 450 is 800 you have to select the parameters so here i will go with yield so you know the yield will be 250 kilonewton per meter square and ultimate will be 410 so i will go with yield click ok define the parameters so yield will be 250 kilonewton per meter square so it will be 000, 000. click add close commands will be taken as check code i will go with member takeoff take off so i have to assign all these three it will be assigned as usually all the structure then check code will be assigned to the entire structure and member take off will be assigned to the entire structure then go to the analysis part sorry steel take off also we have to assign in the design part so we have to assign steel takeoff also steel takeoff assign to view then so go analysis click all add close run analysis save the structure so click that so see here your analysis will be completed with zero errors and go to the properties uh, sorry post processing mode check the results so whatever you want so check the moment how it will be moment in x direction or force in y direction see here in the blue color how it will be the forces in x direction y direction z direction and again 
check the results whatever you want so in the analytical mode if you go and double click this one here you will get steel design so here you will check the design so already i told you breadth of the flange will be 0 0.14 what i shown in the steel tables so here we designed the length of the beam girder will be 10 meters with 0 0.4 height and the thickness of the individual flanges and bridge um, breadth of the web will be given individually here in the table so the design property deflection how it will be shear bending each and everything you will get here this is the way how to design the gantry girder thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please like this video share it to your friends and subscribe our channel thank you so much